So on my sound comparison video to the Podgo and the Firehawk FX, I got this comment suggestion. Dude, your Firehawk sounds trash because you don't have the cab simulation enabled. And I thought to myself, what on earth does that mean? What is up, Yoshis? My name is Beth and I run Steadfast Descent, and today I'd like to tell you how absolutely nothing has changed in the sound quality of my Firehawk FX, but I do know how to turn on and off the cab simulation within the remote app. This is important for a simple reason. If you are using the Firehawk in a live setting and you have an amp, you like have a whole cab situation, you can turn the simulation off. So instead of the Firehawk simulating the whole situation, you can just use a real cab. You open up your remote app, you make sure it's synced with your Firehawk and so on and so forth. You select the cabs. So you can turn cab simulation on and you can turn cab simulation off. Now this combo is great because it means that you can have all of the presets and all of the sound and all of the foot pedal, foot switch options available to you that the Firehawk has, but you're not limited to the sound and to the simulation of their cabs. This is important because their cab simulation, as you can probably guess, is not 100%. However, I have been able to go back in knowing this information and take a look at my cab simulation and maybe improve my Firehawk sound by improving what the settings are that I'm setting for these different cab simulations. surprise, it makes a huge difference when you're working in a digital environment. These subtle tweaks of the, the digital simulation make differences that, you know, in an analog situation, don't make that much of a difference. The digital situation is like completely changing the game. I like avoided making this video for a long time because I'm like, this is going to be hard. It's not hard. Anywho, go forth and make beautiful music and I hope to see you next time.